Hello, Bells. Welcome to a short and sweet episode of SMC Style Watch. I'm your host, Tori Spencer, here on All Things Fashionable. And just as a side note, I would like to apologize for my class time attire. Please take it from me. I am, in my head, I'm the most fashion forward person I know, but if you see me in class in sweats and a t-shirt, please don't, just don't pay attention to it. I really know what I'm talking about, despite what I wear in class, because, you know, mornings are tough. So, anyways, we're going to talk style now, and we're going to be updated on some of the trends that are going to be big this upcoming season. Hopefully, we are wandering away from this winter weather we've been having because it's such a dud. Um, and spring, and spring fashion will be hopping into our lives. So we're going to take a look at some of these things that even though they might be spring fashion, they can be versatile for winter and spring since, according to the groundhog, we'll be hopping into spring soon, but South Bend weather doesn't really look like it. First, before we begin, I would like to thank my roommates for giving me these trends to talk about. I missed the episode of Fashion Police last night, and apparently I missed out on everything. So I'd like to thank my fabulous housemates for giving me these tips and advice on what's new and what's trendy. And you might be able to tell that some of these trends I'm not too sure about. So we'll see what you guys think, and we'll see what's going to be popular this upcoming season. So the first trend are bomber jackets with crazy zippers. And I had no clue what a bomber jacket was at first, and then I Googled it, and it basically kind of looks like a leather jacket. Some of them look like a leather jacket and a peacoat had a baby, so it's like that peacoat style, but in leather, and then just zippers all over. So those apparently are going to be very popular. I mean, and it works because if you're cold in the winter, you can wear it, and then it's in that springtime where it's kind of warm, but still kind of chilly. You can just throw it over a dress, a top with some skinny jeans, and it'll look great. So that one's a pretty cool trend, I would say. The next one are landscape t-shirts and blouses. And this one kind of caught me off guard. So basically, it's just a blouse with a picture of a landscape on it. I'm sure, yeah, that's going to be probably very big because those kind of sheer uh, tops are in. And why go hiking or venture in the outdoors when you can look at the landscapes on your clothing? I mean, seems like a good plan to me. Um, and I get it. Like, if the landscape is like a watercolor painting, so the colors are pastel and light and pretty. So I can see where this would be a big, a big trend. But personally, for me, I'm, I probably won't dive into that really. Um, Forever 21 always has nice blouses and tops that have that pastel color and I bet they'll have a lot of these landscape blouses coming out soon so be sure to keep your eye out keep your eye out for that. The next trend funky heels. Always always funky heels. I love this trend and I'll be sad when the day that these heels go out of style because you can match your shoes with anything. I mean, if, even if they're patterned, even if they're high, I mean, there's always something for a heel. And if you're going to wear them, they might as well be fun and unique, especially if you're in pain the entire time. I mean, the saying goes, beauty is pain, and unfortunately, sometimes that is true. But a place where I would definitely recommend to get these funky heels are at She in the Mall, spelled S-H-I, and they always have such good shoes and really good sales. They have Oxfords, saddle shoes, different heels, toms, Uggs, any kind of shoe you want, and they're all reasonably priced. I'd say anywhere from, they have some for as low as $19.99 to, you know, the really expensive Uggs for $150 to $200, but from everywhere in between, so you can find really good prices at Shein. Next trend kind of goes along with the funky heels are crazy patterned shoes, which is great because, again, you can match the patterns with anything. I'm still not big on the whole mixing patterns. A lot of people can pull it off. I'm not one of those people. So I would not match the shoes with pattern pants or anything, but I still love the patterns. And you can get a lot of those at She. Like I said before, they have a lot of floral patterns and sparkles and chevrons, anything you want. And patterns, like I said, have been a raging success this season. You can mix and match them. And why stop with your feet? So go ahead. Tom's has a lot of great pattern shoes. They have a lot of floral, like I said before, and just crazy things. And Tom's, if you buy the shoes, a pair goes to a child who needs shoes. So it's a great cause. I mean, why not buy some Tom's? And they're also partnering with our own dance marathon this year. So that's kind of interesting if you did not know that. So you can buy Tom's. Not only are you supporting a child in need, but you're also supporting St. Mary's Dance Marathon. Awesome. And the last trend I'll be talking about is 
florals. I've mentioned a little bit about this before. And they're still in, still fashionable, still chic, and they give you that retro vibe while still being very fashionable and unique. And these are one of those patterns that you can try to mix and match with other patterns as well. And it'll look great. I don't think you can go wrong with floral. And I definitely don't think it'll be going anywhere anytime soon. So that's all the updates on trends and stuff I have for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Um, I'm Tori Spencer, and from everyone here at SMC TV Channel 2, have a fabulous day.